And Governor Bello Matawali of Zafar State has warned against politicizing security, saying such could work against government to end bandery and kidnapping the state. He says his administration will deal decisively with anyone found guilty of full injury. The governor also debunked the news in the that six points millionaire was paid for the six abducted miles last weekend. Theophilus Darufat reports. Zafar State has made headlines in the for their own reasons. <laughs> Over the weekend, Governor Bello Matoli facilitated the release of 26 minors without ransom who were abducted in Katsina State. <laughs> this development generated mixed reactions from different quarters as others insist ransom was paid by relatives of the victims before they were released. Governor Bello Matoli described the news as false and malicious, saying it is the handiwork of enemies of peace. He denied paying ransom for the release of the 26 freed girls. Unfortunately, for some people who doesn't want this lasting peace, they went on debunking that uh, the parents of these child were paid a ransom of about six point something million naira, so that the child should get their freedom. This is very, very unfortunate. Some of the kidnapped victims and their relations were at the government has Guso to clear the air on the matter. The truth of the matter is that we do not pay any money to get our children released. Governor Bello Matawali also warned against politicizing security in the state. According to him, peace is one of the key priorities of his administration. I want to advise our people, particularly the politicians, they shouldn't whatsoever politicize a human block because it can happen to any one of them. It can happen to their families. It can happen to their children or even themselves. He says his administration will continue to engage bandits to cease fire as dialogue is yielding positive results. The governor calls for collective efforts to combat the scourge of kidnappings insurgency and banditry, which has crippled farming and social economic activities in Zamfara State and some parts of the country. Theophilus Darufay, TVC News, Kusau. Away from security matters now, the crisis that disrupted the activities of the University of Lagos seems to have been laid to rest. This is so because President Mohamed Buhari has now approved the reinstatement of Professor Lu 